Hello and welcome to Sport This Morning. I'm Cecilia Omorbe. It's great to have you join us again. I'm Taya Salam. This is what the show looks like. Uh, we're starting off with the CAF Champions League. Today, Nigeria's representatives, Lobby Stars of Mark Odi, will take on South Africans Sundowns. That's Mamelodi Sundowns. That's my, that match is going to be played at Nambi Azikwe Stadium later today. Absolutely. We expect them to get a victory in this one, knowing that the next one is going to be in SA. Also on the program is two days to go to the start of the Nigerian professional football league and the match day fixtures will be reviewing them on the show 13th on sunday that's when it's starting luckily for the newly promoted side they've been given a buy more like the games have been postponed so mm. they will not be in action this sunday well they do join the action on match day two that's for remo stars uh, shooting stars gombe united and Cardiff city also on the show this time we're going to australia uh, not good news at all coming from that side of the world. That's because Andy Murray, three-time major winner, is set to retire from professional tennis because of a hip injury. From it's not looking good at all. Be... Barring any dramatic uh, turn of events, Andy Murray will cease to play professional tennis before the end of the year. And he might just be after Australian Open because he says he may not... He's not sure if he's going to wait till Wimbledon. To Wimbledon. He would love to go all the way to Wimbledon and Man, call it quit sure. uh, on his own soil. Uh, but that's not even a guarantee with the way he's feeling at the moment. Very emotional scenes are coming from Andy Murray's uh, press conference yesterday as he prepares for the Australian Open. Cecilia, so not good at all. Uh, you have to all. say, uh, it's, it's been on the horizon uh, for a while now. And it's sad that it's about to... Uh, uh, become a reality. Absolutely. Wow. I'm not really happy about that. I remember, okay, we'll, we'll talk more about that yeah. because I'm going to say I remember when he actually played his first game returning from injury mm. since September and that he was actually emotional, you know, talking after the match and everything. Yeah. You know, and this is what we're having. We'll talk more on Andy Murray much later on the program. But then let's start with this one from home mm. where the Minister of Sport has been inspecting uh, facilities at the National Stadium in Abuja, especially uh, the um, talking about the, um, the sports medicine, the sports uh, medicine center. center. Yeah, right. It talked about the fact that he wasn't really happy, you know, with the equipment that he saw, but with the acquisition of a high performance equipment, it will definitely reposition that center for uh, Nigerian athletes to be able to use it and also uh, be fit for most of the major tournaments, especially adequate training. And he hope this one will also enable them to do better in 2019. Fantastic, fantastic. It's good to see the minister going around and checking out all these uh, uh, facilities. We're used to talking about uh, the, the, the main board, the tracks uh, and the pitch. Uh, and the velodrome. Uh, no one seems to always talk about the medicine uh, center. We all know how important uh, that is uh, in sports uh, in 2019, in modern sports. I mean, sports consists of several facets, and all these facets have to be uh, working optimally uh, if you want to be successful. And that's why the minister has been going around and you know checking out the medicine center at the Abuja National Stadium. And uh, he's seen it, and he knows there needs to be upgrades. Absolutely, and that's why he had to, uh, they had to purchase some equipment for it to actually run better and also for athletes to be able to, you know, use it and, as he said, for adequate training. Let's hear from the minister now what he has noticed and what he intends to do to ensure that the uh, center is well repositioned for uh, better services to Nigerian athletes. As a leading country in Africa, we do not have a national high performance center. And in contemporary sports, without a high performance center, I mean, you cannot uh, make much progress in terms of uh, podium performances because sports is science. And so you need the science of sports to make progress. And sports medicine is very, very key. Uh, component of the high performance center. So we made attempts to try to revive the contract we had with South Africa, uh, which in the past government released about three billion for the establishment of the high performance center and uh, nothing was done. The high performance um, sports 
medical center as it is. It's, it's still vacant. There is nothing there. And so I thought that, well, without much resources, we cannot be lamenting. We, we must take steps to begin to acquire some of these very important equipments that we need them to key into modern sports science.